guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you Wig Studio One for sending me this piece to do a review on. Andrea also provides a Facebook group. It is called Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group and we would love to have y'all there. Now let's take a look at this cute human hair by Renea Paris. It's their orchid collection. This is Lily in Honey Brown. And it's very light density. You can see. Super layered. There is not a lace front. So that might be an issue for some ladies. But I love bangs. So I would probably put bangs in her. Now you cannot judge a human hair piece when you get it out of the box because it's human hair and it does not have the style baked into it. And so I'm gonna take this piece and wash it and curl it and then come back and show y'all um, what she looks like maybe fit, you know, fixed and styled. You, since she's human hair, you treat her like you would your own hair. I'm gonna do a spin for you real quick. That way, you can see all sides. She's very long. She is super low density. Here is her, sorry guys, my camera is opposite of what I'm looking at. <laughs> so no lace front. I don't think it's bad. I really don't. And especially if you have a little hair you could pull out. Let's take a look at the inside of Lily's cap. She is open wefted. And that is going to make it cool. See how it's just super low density and you'll be able to feel the airflow through the human hair into the cap. Here's her nape. She has the bra sliding adjusters and she has a mono top. And then she has this silicone strip, a poly polyurethane, and that would be amazing for people to use tape or adhesive to keep her more secure. Now here, I'm going to try to get where y'all can see what the scalp looks like in there. And you could part her even in the middle because she is a full mono, but you'll have to wet her to style her differently. And that's what I'm going to do. And if I decide to keep her, I would put some side sweat bangs in her since she doesn't have that lace front. Hi guys. I'm in the process of washing, well, I just washed Lily. And you can see through her wefts right now because she's wet. So totally not freaked out about it. But what I was a little surprised about is she's gonna dry wavy. You see that? I washed her, I'm not putting any styling products in her, and I'm not gonna blow dry her, I'm just gonna let her air dry. I gotta get her out of here because she's dripping. But I wanted to show y'all what she looks like wet. And I do believe she's gonna have wave. So let's see. So I washed Lily, and I put conditioner on her, and then rinse that out. And this 
I let her air dry. I hung her upside down to get some volume because I was saying how low density she is. She dried wavy. And, I mean, she's not totally dry. But this is, I am like really excited and surprised. So this doesn't even look like the same piece. What? So that's what I'm saying, guys. If you get a human hair, please do not judge it by what it looks like out of the box. Because, ta-da, this looks nothing like she did. Nothing. Let me turn around for y'all. I'm sorry. I'm just super excited. What is she? I don't know what she looks like back there. But I'm trying to show y'all in different stages of fixing. Um, I would probably wear this out like this. I think it's cute. I think it's cute. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take her off, I'm gonna go blow dry her and then curl her and come back. All right, here we go. Hey guys, I am so excited. I'm over the moon on how she turned out. This is some Southern hair. Um, my goodness, she's still low density, but we got some volume out of her by hanging her upside down. Y'all remember when I said I was gonna put bangs in her? I'm not now. Look at this. That is not bad at all. She's beautiful. Real okay. quick, underneath the hair. Now she has return hairs and hand tie caps don't, but open wefty caps will. And they're just short hairs, you see those? And they use them for volume and they also use them to cover the wets. Now these are sticking out more than normal because I hung her upside down. And so I just wanted to let y'all know they are in there and some people do not like return hairs. I don't mind them because it gives some volume if, as long as they're long enough and they don't show through. So I just wanted to show y'all that this piece is a really good one. Here is her scalp, let's see. And you can part it any direction because of the mono part. And don't forget it has the silicone to where you can use some adhesive. I find I don't need adhesive with out, when I don't have a lace front, I don't feel like I need adhesive. Um, if I have a lace front, I feel more apt to want to secure it, but this one I don't, so. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this review, and um, I'll see y'all later. Bye. Hi, guys. Okay, here she is. This right here is what the color she is. I really hope that helps y'all with this color. Sorry about the light. I'm just walking around my backyard holding my computer trying to find a good representation for y'all. But she is so pretty. I don't know, tell me what y'all think down in the comments. Like and subscribe, I'm super excited. I hope this helped y'all kind of realize that you take one, a human hair, that's why I'm so passionate about human hair because it's cool, it feels like it's yours and it's just to me the best, I love it. Now, there is a difference between the European human hair and Chinese Indian blend. 
Um, this will be more frizzy and you will have to curl it and stuff. Um, the European human hair is more silky. So to me, the European hair is easier to take care of, in my opinion. So anyway, guys, I hope this helped y'all and I hope you'll have a blessed day. Bye.